The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 18th, 1968, in Seattle. <laughs> Uh, we are worshipping Govindam, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the original person. So, this sound, Govindam Adi Purusam Tamaham Vajami, is reaching him. He is hearing. Uh, you cannot say that he is not hearing. Can you say? No. Especially in the scientific age, when television, radio messages are broadcast, thousands and thousands of minds are away, and you can hear. And why you can you? Why Krishna cannot hear your prayer, sincere prayer? How can you say? Nobody can deny it. <coughs> so, premanyana chirita bhakti vilochane na santa sadaiva ridayesu vilochane. Just like thousands and thousands of miles away you can transfer the television picture or your radio sound. Similarly, if you can prepare yourself, and then you can see always Govinda. It is not difficult. This is stated in Brahma Sanghita, Premanyana Chirita Bhakti Bilochani. Simply you have to prepare your eyes, your mind in that way. Here is a uh, television box within your heart. This is the perfection of yoga. It is not you have to purchase one machine or television set. It is there. And God is also there. You can see, you can hear, you can talk, provided you have got the machine, you repair it. That's uh, the repairing process is Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, everything is separate, complete, complete set of machines you have got within you. And just like for repairing an expert uh, mechanic required, similarly, he requires the help of someone expert. And then you will see that your machine is working. It is not difficult to understand. Nobody can say that it is not possible. In the Shastra, uh, we hear also Sadhu Shastra Guru Bhakka, Tinete Kuriya Oikka. Spiritual realization can be perfected uh, by three uh, parallel process. Sadhu. Sadhu means saintly persons who are realized souls. Sadhu. Shastra. Shastra means scriptures, authoritative scriptures, Vedic scriptures, Shastra. Sadhu, Shastra, and Guru, spiritual master. Three parallel lines. <coughs> and if you place your car or vehicle on these three parallel lines, your car will go direct to Krishna. Tinete <coughs> Kuryavika. Just like in the railway line, you see two parallel lines, 
is that in order. The railway carriages are carried uh, very smoothly to the destination. Here also there are three parallel lines. Sadhu, Sastra, Guru. Saintly person, association of saintly person, acceptance of bona fide spiritual master, and faith in the scriptures. That's all. Then your carriage will be going nicely without any discouragement. Sadhu, Sastra, Guru, Vakka, Tinete, Kuriya, Vikka. So here, in the Bhagavad Gita, the Supreme Personality of Godhead explaining himself, Krishna. So, if you say, uh, how can I believe that Krishna said, somebody has written in the name of Krishna, that Krishna said, God said, now, this is called disciplic succession. Uh, you see in this book, Bhagavad Gita, uh, Krishna, what Krishna said and how Arjuna understood, these things are described. And the sadhu, saintly person, uh, beginning from Vyasdev Narad down to many uh, Acharyas, Ramanuja Acharya, Madhya Acharya, uh, Vishnu Shani, and that is Lord Chaitanya. In this way, they have accepted. Yes, it is spoken by Krishna. Uh, so this is the proof. If saintly persons have accepted, they have not denied authority. They have accepted, yes. This is called sadhu. And because sadhu, saintly persons have accepted, therefore it is scripture. That is the test. Just like it is common sense affair, if the lawyers accept some book, then it is to be understood that this is love. You cannot say that, how can I accept this is love? The evidence is the lawyers are accepting. Medical, if the medical practitioners accept, then that is authoritative in medical. Similarly, if saintly persons are accepting Bhagavad Gita, as scripture, you cannot deny it. The uh, sadhu sadhu, saintly person and scripture. Two things. And who is spiritual master? Three. Three parallel nine. Who accepts the sadhu and the scripture? Sadhu confirms the scripture. And spiritual master accepts the scripture. Simple process. So, they are not in disagreement. What is spoken in the scripture is accepted by saintly person, and what is spoken in the scripture, the spiritual master explains only that thing. That's all. So, Bhaya Nidya is the scripture. Just like lawyer and the litigant. Vaya media is the law book. Uh, similarly, the spiritual master, the scripture, saintly person means who confirms the Vedic injunction, who accepts. And scripture means uh, what is accepted by the saintly person, and spiritual master means who follows the scripture. So things equal to the same thing are equal to one another. This is absolute truth. If you have got hundred dollars 
and another man has got hundred dollar, and if I have got hundred dollar, then we are all equal. Similarly, Sadhu Shastra Guru Vakka, when these three parallel lines in uh, agreement, then uh, life is success. So here Krishna speaking Bhagavad Gita. The Maya Sattamanal about the Jova system, he has already concluded in the sixth chapter the Jova system. And in the first six, six chapters, uh, it is explained what is the constitutional position of the living entity. There are eighteen chapters in the Bhagavad Gita. The first six chapters explains only uh, the constitutional position of the living entities. And when it is understood, just like when you understand your actual position, then your activity is actually begin. If you do not know what is your actual position, suppose in the office, if you are a post is not settled up, what duty you have to execute, then uh, you cannot do anything very nicely. Here is a typist, here is a clerk, here is a peon, here is a this and that, so they are executing their work very nicely. So one has to understand what is the constitutional position of the living entity. So that is explained in the first six chapters. Ardena Satkena Upasaka Sajiva Sasrupa Prati Sadhananta Pradhana Nimputam. The Baladev Vidavushan, a very nice authorized commentator on the Bhagavad Gita, he says that in the first six chapters, the constitutional position of the living entity has been very nicely explained. Uh, and how uh, one can understand his constitutional position, that is also explained. Uh, so the Jova system uh, means to understand his constitutional position. Yoga India Sangya. Uh, we are busy with the sense activities. The material life means business of sense activities. The whole world activity, when you go stand on the street, you will see everybody is very busy. The storekeeper is busy, the motor driver is busy. Everyone is very busy, so busy that uh, so many accidents in business. Now why is that busy? If you mightly, minutely study, what is their business? Uh, the business is sense very yes. Everyone is busy how to gratify sense. This is material. And yoga means to control the senses, to understand my spiritual position, my constitutional position. Yeah. Just like a boy who is accustomed to playing only, he cannot concentrate in his study, in understanding his future life. Uh, or in elevating himself, higher position. Similarly, uh, if we are engaged like child without knowing the future of life, simply playing with the senses, that is called material life. The difference between material life and spiritual life is 
that in somebody he is simply engaged in sense gratification business that is called material life. And out of many thousands of such materialistic uh, persons, if somebody is trying to understand what I am, why I have come here, why I am put into so many miserable conditions of life, is there any remedy? These questions, when arise, then practically his spiritual life begins. And the human form of life is meant for that. In animal life they do not know anything except sense gratification. They have no power, their consciousness is not developed. Just like in the Green Lake Park, there are so many ducks, so as soon as somebody goes there with some little boat, ah, oh, they got a ka 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 ka. That's all. And after eating, are they enjoying sex life? That's all. So, similarly, like cats and dogs and these animals, the human life is also like that. If there is no question uh, what I am. If they are simply directed by the sense urges, they are no better than these ducks and dogs. So therefore, and uh, in the first six chapters, it has been decided that a uh, living entity is a spiritual spark. It is very difficult to find out where this spark is. Because it is so small, minute. There is no material microscope or machine to find out. But it is there. It is there. The symptom is because it is there in my body, because it is there in your body. Therefore you are moving, you are talking, you are planning, uh, so many things you are doing simply for that the spiritual path. So we are very minute spark of the Supreme Spirit. Just like there are uh, in the sun sign minute particle, signing particle. With signing, these signing particles when they are mixed together, that is some sign. Uh, but they are molecules. They are separate atomic molecules. Similarly, uh, in relationship with God and ourselves, we are also minute particles of God, signing. Signing means we have got the same propensities, uh, thinking, feeling, willing, uh, creating, everything, whatever you see in yourself that is there in God. So God cannot be person Because we are all person. I have got so many propensities. That is very minute quantity. The same propensities are there in Krishna or God, but that is very great, unlimited. This is the study of Krishna consciousness. Simply, greatness, my position, is very small. And we are so small, infinite simmer. Still we have got so many propensities, so many desires, so many activities, so many brain work. Just imagine how much greater brain work and desire and propensities are there in God. Because He is great. His greatness means all these things what you have got, that is existing in Him, in great. That's qualitatively we are one. 
but quantitatively we are different. He is great, we are small. He is infinite, we are infinite. Therefore, the conclusion is just like infinite uh, particles of fire and sparks, when they are with the fire, they look, they look very nice uh, with fire and spark. But when the sparks are out of the fire, main fire, they extinguish. No more fire. Similarly, we are sparks of Krishna and God. When we associate with God, then our, that illuminating power, fire, is uh, renovated. Otherwise, we are extinguished. Although you are sparks, our present life, this material life, is covered. This part is covered or extinguished or not. This is only example. It cannot be extinguished. If it is extinguished, how we are manifesting our living condition? It is not extinguished. But it is covered. Just like when fire is covered, you will feel heat on the cover. But you cannot see the fire directly. Similarly, the spiritual spark is covered by this material dress that we cannot see. Uh, the doctor says, oh, uh, the bodily function has failed, therefore heart, heart has failed. Uh, he is dead. But why heart failed, he does not know. Uh, there is no medical science calculated. They will say so many reasons that because the blood corpuscles, red corpuscles has ceased to function, it has become white, therefore it is... No, this is not right answer. The blood can be made red. Our redness is not light. There are many natural product which is read by nature. But that does not mean there is life. So this argument that red corpuscles have ceased, therefore life has ceased. No. There are so many arguments and counter-arguments. Actually this is the fact, because we are speaking on the strength of scriptures, saintly persons and spiritual persons. That is the way of understanding. You cannot manufacture with your teeny brain imperfect senses. Uh, human beings, they are imperfect, always. Uh, just for example, that a, a child is seeing the sun and a scientist is seeing the sun. Uh, by nature, the child the knowledge of the sun is imperfect. The same child, when he takes uh, instruction from a scientist, he can understand the sun is so great. Therefore, direct perception, perception of knowledge by your the senses is always imperfect. You have to approach authority in every sphere. Oh, similarly. If you want to understand what is God, then you have to take shelter of this Bhagavad Gita. There is no alternative. You cannot speculate that God may be like this, God may be like that. There is no God, God is dead, God is not dead. This is simply speculation. Here Krishna says, if you believe that Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God, is speaking, personality, uh, as Arjuna believes, then you can understand what is God. Otherwise it is not possible. So, the process is, and the first process is, 
maya shabda mana. You have to constantly engage your mind in Krishna. That is the yoga process, which is which we are presenting as Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness. That's like if you constantly uh, join yourself with the electric power house, there is incessant supply of electric energy. Similarly, if you constantly engage your mind in Krishna, uh, that is also not very limited. Krishna is all attractive. Krishna is beautiful. Krishna has so many activities. Uh, uh, the whole Vedic literature is full of Krishna's activities. This uh, Bhagavad Gita is full of Krishna's activities. Simply by understanding that God is there, that is neutral state of understanding. But you have to elevate more and more. How great He is! Uh, how great He is, it is not possible to understand, because our senses are always imperfect. But as far as possible, you can hear about the activities of God, about the uh, Mm. position of God, and you can think over it, and you can make your judgment, you can put your argument, then you will understand uh, without any doubt what is God. The first beginning is maya sattva mana. Uh, in the last chapter, Krishna has explained that one who is constantly absorbed in the thought of Krishna, uh, he is first-class yogi, first-class yogi. Uh, in your country, the yoga system is very popular, uh, but you do not know who is a first-class yogi. The first-class yogi explains in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, yogi nama api sarvi sam madgata antarātma. That out of many, many thousands of yogi, the yogi and bhaktu yogi, who is always seeing within himself, within his heart, the form of Krishna, he is first class. He is first class. So you have to continue that first class yoga system and that is explained here, maya sattva mana. Being attached, mind is the vehicle of, for being attached. Uh, if you are attached to somebody, some boy, some girl, some person, generally we become attached to a person. Impersonal attachment is, is, is bogus thing. Uh, if you want to be attached, that attachment must be impersonal. Is it not a fact? Impersonal attachment. You cannot love the sky, but you can love the sun. Uh, you can love the moon. You can love the star, because they are localized person. Uh, and if you want to love the sky, it is very difficult for you. Uh, you have to come again to this. Uh, Son. So, uh, yoga system culminating in perfection, in love. So you have to love somebody person, that is person. Uh, just like here in the picture, Radharani is loving Krishna and offering his uh, flowers to Krishna, and Krishna is uh, uh, playing with his fruit. Uh, you can think of this picture nicely, always. Then you become constantly in yoga, samādhi. Why impersonal? Why is something, something void? Why can't? If you think something void, there will be something light, something colored, colorful, so many things you will find. But that is also for. How you can avoid for? That is not for. Therefore, 
Why don't you concentrate your mind to the real form? He shut up Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vitra. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, the controller, the Supreme Controller, who has got a body. How? Vigra. Vigra means body. And what sort of body? Satchidananda. Eternal body. Full of belief, full of knowledge. That body. Not like body, like this. This body is full of ignorance, full of misery, ah, and not eternal. Just opposite. His body is eternal. My body is not eternal. His body is full of bliss. My body is full of misery, or something troubling me. Ah, headache, toothache, this head, that head, ah, somebody. Uh, has given me personal trouble. Uh, so many. Uh, Adhati, Adhi, Bhoti, uh, severe heat, severe cold, uh, so many things. This body is always under threefold misery, this material body. So, if you think of Krishna, that is the process, Krishna consciousness, then, uh, Mayasattamana prata jung jinjan madasa. If you practice this yoga system, Krishna consciousness, uh, how? Madasraya. Madasraya means taking center of somebody who is in touch with me. Madasraya. Madasraya means directly in touch with him. Directly you are, you are in touch with him as soon as you think of him, his form. Uh, but unless you take shelter of a spiritual master who knows about him, you cannot concentrate for uh, a long time. It may be temporary. Therefore, you have to hear from a person who knows about Krishna, then your concentration of mind on Krishna will continue. You have to act according to his direction. Uh, everything, your life should be molded in such a way under the direction of the spiritual master. Then you can continue this yoga system perfectly. Uh, uh, what is that yoga system? That yoga system explained in the Bhagavad Gita in the sixth chapter, last verse. Yogi Namaki Sarvi Sam Madhvata Antaratmana. One who is always thinking of me, Madhya. He is first class. In many places it is stated, Premanyana Churita, how you can think of Krishna unless you develop love for Krishna, just like Radharani. Radharani, yeah, she has come, she was married and uh, life, household life. But she has come to Krishna to worship. Similarly, we have to place Krishna always in our mind, think of him. Then this very process, Mayasattamana Prasa, Yuga Mujanjan Madhatsa, under the protection of uh, myself or my representative, uh, when you understand Samagram, perfectly well, then your life is uh, successful. Assumption, without any doubt, not that because your spiritual master says that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. No. If you have got any doubt, just question, just try to understand. It is a fact that He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, undoubted. But if you have got some doubt, you can clear it. In this way, if you practice this yoga system, Krishna consciousness, the topmost of all the yoga system, the asamsam samadram mong jathadasasi, then uh, you will understand Krishna as the Supreme Personality Godhead 
perfected them without any doubt. And your life will be perfect. Thank you. Your condition of bhav. Just like a ripe mango and green mango. Green mango is the cause of ripe mango. But to test ripe mango is better than unripe mango. Similarly, before attaining love of God, you have got different stages. That's why the same mango. It passes through different stages. Then one day it comes nice uh, yellow color, fully ripened, and taste is so nice. The same mango. Uh, the mango does not change, but it comes to the mature stage. Uh, so, this as uh, this example, the mango is in the beginning a flower, then gradually a little fruit, then gradually it grows, then it becomes very tight, green, and then gradually it becomes little little yellowish, and it becomes fully ripe. Right? This is the uh, process of everything. Uh, material world also, there are six processes. And the last process is vanquish. Uh, this mango example or any other material example, we can accept it so far the growth is required, concern. But Material example is not perfect. That that mango, when it is right, uh, somebody eats, that's all right. Otherwise, uh, it will override, it will decompose, it will fall down, and finish. That is material. But spiritual is not like that. It is not finished. If you want to come to the stage of mature stage of love, then that perfectional stage continues eternally and your life is complete. Prema There are many different types of perfection in this material world. Somebody is thinking this is perfection of life. Uh, materialists, they are thinking uh, if I can enjoy my senses very nicely, that is perfection. That is their point of view. And when they are frustrated, they find out, uh, try to find out something better. So he is not guided. If something better means the same sex and intoxication, that's all. Simply become irresponsible, that's all. Because there is no guide, he is finding out, searching out something better. But because there is no guide, he comes to the same sense or sex and intoxication. To forget, a businessman when his failure, so much disturbance, he tries to forget him by drinking. And this is artificial. 
This is not actually the remedy. How long you can forget? Sleep. How long you can sleep? Again wake up, again you are in the same position. That is not good. But if you come to the stage of love of God, then naturally you forget all this now. Natural. But on the Vartan, if you find out something more palatable, more relatable, you give up nonsense things, which is not so nice to tell. So Krishna consciousness is such a thing. It is leading you to a standard where going you will forget all this now. That is real life. Brahma Bhuta, Prasanna. As soon as you come to that stage, then your symptom will be that you are joy. You are feeling everywhere. Uh, there is a there are many instances. So this, when you accept this material world in relationship with Krishna, he test that uh, love of God. Even in this material. Actually, material world means completely forgetfulness of God or Krishna. That is material. Otherwise, if you are in full consciousness of Krishna, he will find only spiritual world, even in this material Consciousness is all consciousness. The same example, just like the king and the bug is sitting on the same throne, but the bug knows that my business is simply to get some blood, that's all. The king knows that I have to rule, I am the ruler of this country. So sitting on the same place, but the consciousness is different. Similarly, if you change your consciousness to Krishna consciousness, wherever you are, you are in Vaitam. Well, it doesn't matter, yes? And I give with the significance of what, what is how the uh, dragon has the uh, heart festival. Jagannath festival is significant is that when Krishna uh, left Vrindavan, Krishna was raised by his foster father Nanda Maharaj, that when he was grown up, sixteen years old, he was taken away by his real father, Vasudev, and they left Vrindavan, Krishna and Balarama, two brothers, and <coughs> they were resident, their kingdom was in Dwarka. So, in Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra is always Dharmakshetra, pilgrimage. There was some lunar, uh, solar eclipse, and many persons from many parts of India, they came to take bath. Similarly, uh, Krishna and Balaram and his, their sister, Subhadra, they also came in royal uh, fashion with so many soldiers and so many, just a uh, king. So the residents of Vrindavan, uh, they met Krishna and especially the gopis, they saw Krishna and they lamented that Krishna, you are here, we are also here. But the place is different. 
Uh, we are not in Vrindavan. So, there is a long story how they lamented and how Krishna pacified them. Uh, this is a feeling of separation and how the inhabitants of Vrindavan felt separation from Krishna. So this, when Krishna came on chariot, that is called Ratuja. This is the history of Ratujatra. So any pastimes made by Krishna, uh, that is uh, observed in ceremonial form by the devotee, so that is Ratujatra. I do not know. I need a question. He wants to know how how we may recognize Yoga Maya. How we may know Yoga Maya. Yes. Oh. Yoga Maya means that we connect you. Yoga means connection. When I mean gradually advance in Krishna consciousness, that is the action of yoga maya. And when you are gradually forgetting Krishna, that is the action of Mahāvāya. The maya is acting upon you. The so one is uh, dragging you and one is uh, pushing you, uh, opposite. Yoga Maya. So, just like the example that uh, you are always under the laws of government. He cannot deny. If you say, I don't agree to abide by the laws of government, that is not possible. But when you are a criminal, you are under the police law. And when you are gentleman, you are under the civil law. The laws are there. In any situation, you have to obey the laws of God. So if you remain as a civilized citizen, then you are always protected by the civil law. But as soon as you are against the state, the criminal law will act upon you. So the criminal activities of law is Mahamaya, threefold misery, always. Always putting in some sort of misery. And the civil department of Krishna, Anandamudi Vardhanam, is simply go on increasing. Uh, the, I want to say, the depth of the ocean of jaw, Anandamudva. That is the difference, Yoga Maya and Mahamaya. So Yoga Maya is, Yoga Maya, the original Yoga Maya, is Krishna's internal potency, that is Rāla. And Mahamaya is external potency, Durga. This Durga is explained in Brahma Sangita. Sisti sthiti pralaya sadhana sakti rita chai vayasa bhuvanani vivhati Durga. Durga is the superintending goddess of this whole material world. Everything is going on under his control, under her control. Prakriti, prakriti is uh, energy. Energy is accepted as feminine, uh, just like this materialistic person. They are also working under some energy. What is that energy? The sex life. That's all. They are traveling so much. Ah, at night I will have sex life. That's all. That is the energy. 
जनमैंधनाधिगृहमेदि सुखम मिथुच्छम देयर लाई इज बेस्ड ऑन द सेक्स दैट्स ऑल एवरीवन इज वर्किंग सो हार्ड कल्मिनेटिंग इन सेक्स दैट्स ऑल दिस इज मे टू यू द एनर्जी The material energy means sex, so that is energy. Ah, if a person who is working in the factory, and he to stop sex, or he cannot work, and when he is unable to enjoy sex life, then he takes intoxication. This is material. Life. So energy must be there. Here in the material world, the energy is sex, and in the spiritual world, the energy is love. Here, the love is misrepresented in sex. That is not love. That is lust. Love is only possible with Krishna. No other. No other love is possible. There is misrepresentation of love. There is lust. So love and lust. Love is yoga maya, and lust is maha maya. That all right, sir. Any other question? That I have explained many times. The pocket dictionary and international dictionary. You cannot say that pocket dictionary is no dictionary, but it is meant for a certain class of student. An international dictionary is meant for a certain class of student. They are all students. Was Christ? Was what was spoken by Christ? That is of God consciousness. But that was meant for a certain class of men. And what class of men they were? They are not even perfectly civilized because Christ was explaining God consciousness. That was his fault, and they crucified. What class of man they were? Judge. His only fault was that he was explaining God, and they crucified him. The reward was crucifixion. So what class of man they were? The status of that society. Just try to understand. Therefore, what spoke, what was spoken by Lord Jesus Christ, for them that was sufficient. But when Bhagavad Gita is spoken to a person like also, that is different. Thing. So we have to speak according to the time, according to the circumstances. According to the audience, don't you see that here only a few persons are attending? 
Why? They cannot understand this Krishna science, Krishna consciousness. It is not meant for all classes of men. It is a high standard of God consciousness. Love. Love of God. So, there is also teachings of love of God, undoubtedly, that is the defining. Uh, the same thing, always try to understand. The small pocket dictionary for uh, students who are in the primary space and an international dictionary for as students, postgraduate students, that both of them are these dictionaries, but it is meant for somebody, it is meant for somebody. And the test is Phalena uh, Parichya. Phalena Parichya, you have to understand, uh, suppose you are traveling in a forest, so many trees are there. But you cannot understand what is this tree or is that. But as soon as you see the flower, oh, here is apple, or this is apple. Just like the other day you were saying, you never saw apple tree. Yes. So as soon as you saw the apple, you understood this is apple tree. Oh. The test of any scripture is how one is developing love of God. Palayana Puja. If you find that following some religious principle, you are developing your love of God, then it is perfect. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it is Bible or Quran or Bhagavad Gita, it doesn't matter. We have to see what is the fruit. If the fruit is that people are developing love of God, then it is perfect. Don't try to understand whether this is good, this is good, this is bad, this is no. Try to understand by the reason. That's why we say, wait, if you see the fruit, then it is possible. So it doesn't matter whether it is Bible or uh, Gita. If you can develop love of God and by reading Bible, it is possible. And if you can le uh, uh, develop love of God and by Bhagavad Gita, it is possible. And if you do not, then either it is Bible or the Quran or Bhagavad Gita, it has no effect for you. So it is up to you, not by comparison, but by your own activity. If you actually follow the instruction given by Lord Jesus Christ, you will also develop love of God. There is no doubt. Similarly, if you follow the instruction of Krishna, you will also develop. So it is up to you to try to follow. If you do not follow, simply try to make a comparative study, this is good or this is bad, this is bad or this is good. No. That is called samayeva hi kevala, simply leveling. Why comparative study? Just see how much you are developing love of God. That's Palena Parichya. Whether it is apple is there, that's all right. Never mind what is this tree. I am concerned with the apple. Whether charity or love, love or chanting out loud in Kirtan, is it right to be engaged in our mind and thinking? Is it not? Is this practical? <laughs> if you are not minding, 
He's trying to enforce you to mind upon you. Krishna sound will by force. Chanting is so nice. And this is the practical yoga in this age. You cannot meditate. Your mind is so disturbed, you cannot concentrate your mind. Therefore, uh, chant and by the sound vibration it will possibly enter into your mind. Even if you don't want Krishna, Krishna will enter into your mind. By force. <laughs> this is the easiest process. <laughs> you don't require to endeavor. Krishna is coming. <laughs> it is very nice process. This is recommended there for this age. And others also will be benefited. He chant loudly, others who are not accustomed, but they will also at least just like on the street, on the park, they say, Hare Krishna. How they have learned? By hearing this chanting. That's all. Sometimes the children, as soon as they see us, they say, oh, Hare Krishna. In Montreal, the children, uh, when I was walking on the street, and all the children, the shopkeepers, the storekeepers, they say, Hare Krishna. Mm-hmm. And that's all. So you have forced Hare Krishna within the mind. If you practice yoga, meditate, it may be beneficial for you, but this is beneficial for many others. Suppose something very good you are enjoying yourself, some sweet ball. That is one state. But if you distribute sweet ball, that is another state. So by chanting on the road, on the street, you are distributing sweet ball. <laughs> you are not miser that you are eating yourself. You are so liver that you are distributing to others. Now chant this day. Gopi Janabalabha 
गिरे बनधारी यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन जमुना माई की जाए गुरु द्वारका धाम की जाए स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जाए और ग्लोरी सुधे समय और ग्लोरी सुधे समय थैंक यू वेरी मच